Oh, no. <laughs> no. Kill it. <laughs> I think the worst part is it's made out of porcelain. Hey guys, we are nice. I'm Ray. I'm Julian. Julian, this is our first video of the year, 2023. Yes. Yep. And last year, almost all the guys were able to react with me mm -hmm. on a Twilight Zone episode, except for you. I've been here the most. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to start the year off with a Twilight Zone episode. Okay. I'm and it's been a while. This. It's been a while since, since we've done a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah. And these are fantastic. You know, I, so far, of the ones I've seen with the guys, none of them have been like awful they've been all flawless you know and the people who enjoy watching reactions to this they agree that these episodes are good so i want to go to an episode that this was requested some time ago okay by somebody i have not seen this uh you have you ever seen any episodes of uh, twilight zone the black and white versions uh and if you did do you remember any of them like maybe a few at one of my older aunt's houses, probably, and I don't remember most of it because okay. I was really young at the time. I remember being freaked out, <laughs> and then at the end, seeing the guy come out and be like, "Oh, this was all like a what if," and I would be like, "Why would you traumatize me this way?" Well, normally it's not like a what if; it's more like they enter this zone, this that, messed up. That's zone, what I meant, you yeah. Know? And have you seen any of the new stuff? Any of the new Twilight Zone stuff? Neither have I. I mean, Tower of Terror, maybe, if that counts. <laughs> that's a that's a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, I want to go check this episode out. This is uh, episode uh, six, I believe, from season five. Yeah, episode six, season five. This is called Living Doll. All right, so this is... Uh, just the way it sounds already sound like this is going to be a bit unnerving. It sounds like it's a knockoff from R.L. Stein's Living. I'm completely uh, joking yeah, with you. Sure. I know the order of events. Uh, we're going to have a P.O. box soon in case you want to send a letter of complaints. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have a P.O. box soon in case you want to send us any postcards, especially anybody from other countries. We'll definitely like to see postcards or maybe some monuments and stuff like that. We'll do some unboxing That'll be awesome. We do that. You guys were able to do that with us. That'll be fantastic. Well, anyway, guys, this is called Living Dog. Twilight Zone Season 5, Episode 6. Let's get to it. I used to have an infatuation with dolls that come alive. Like Chucky and whatnot. Or Annabelle. Mm-hmm. Oof. It's an old station wagon. The music always sets it off like a little... sudden creep is creeping up to the house or something. Yes. What have you got there? It's just a doll, Eric. She doesn't need another doll. This gentleman seems familiar. Like, we've seen him before. She's alive, Daddy. And yeah, her name creepy. is Talking Tina. Talking Tina? I thought she said something way different. <laughs> I heard very different. My name is Talking Tina. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Kill it. <laughs> I think the worst part is it's made out of porcelain. How much did it cost, Annabelle? Eric, I don't think it's the price of the doll that's upsetting you. <laughs> Now we're going to get some more of that Freudian gibberish you've been getting from a doctor, huh? It isn't Dr. Lubin's fault she feels rejected. Was that a new Not rejected. Why did she, the girl rejected? My name is Talking Tina, and I love you very much. Will you shut that thing off? Jesus, guys. Are... Dude. Dude, why the anger towards a little girl like that over a doll? Watch, she's going to be like, Megan's here to protect. <laughs> oh that is uncomforting it is this is so unnerving oh that's what it was he wanted to play with the doll <laughs> he was jealous my name is talkie tina and i don't think i like you <laughs> the doll that does everything but without her he'd never enter the twilight zone mm. I got feeling he's in trouble. <laughs> I always felt like this is all like weird versions of purgatory, but like on the lower well, end. Yeah, well, it kind of is in a way. Yeah. But it's not really purgatory as much as it's just a messed up time and space 
that you got yourself caught up with. Yeah. But it was always like a, a story, a, a, a moral story. Yes. Somehow. Because this guy is obviously a jerk. My name is Talkie Tina, and I think I could even hate you. Oh, that was... <laughs> Hell no! That's how you get woken up in the middle of the night with her in a... My name is Talkie Tina, and you'll be sorry. Oh my god. You didn't have to throw it. There's quite a vocabulary. My name is Talkie Tina, and I love you very much. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not what it said a minute ago. I know you're having a difficult time adjusting to her, but I can't let you treat her this way. She's my daughter, Eric. I love her. Are you the stepdad? But I don't love her. Mother, and I'm incapable of loving children because we can't have any of our own. Isn't that what you're saying, Annabelle? Oh, no, Eric. Believe me, it's not. You could love Christy. I know you could. If you'd only give yourself half a chance. Good. I'm glad I'm not the cold, cruel ogre that mommy and daughter think I am. I appreciate all the faith you have in me. Well, you are an ogre. God, this guy. But we'll do anything to make you happy. Both of us. Daddy? She's even calling him daddy. I'm sorry, daddy, if I made you mad. Okay, I'm upset. This I'm is sorry, upsetting. Chris. If one of my friends were that emotionally manipulative, I swear to you, I, I don't... have a thing to say. I, I wouldn't even say anything. I would just start throwing fists. That man will be hanging from a bridge by the end of the week. Yeah, he looks so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know your dog could wink. Tina can't wink, Daddy. Dude, I've seen this man somewhere. It's driving me crazy. Lacking a brother or sister, is that what you mean? I didn't say that. But that's why you bought the doll, isn't it? Sort of a reminder? My god, this guy. Is he in... in... Creamy. Yeah. I don't know if we can say that on YouTube. That's why I'm be. like... Yeah, I got you. ED? He might be. He might be the, the issue. Yeah. Because only that small of a man would have that problem. I take Tina? Not outside. You can show her to Linda later. <laughs> take it to the room, though. Don't leave it here in front of me. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just waiting for it to I stick up the middle finger. My name is Eric Strader, and I'm going to get rid of you. You wouldn't dare. Just seeing how it works. Mm-hmm. She does it. I don't know. How did she fall in love with this guy? Then I can hurt you. Not really, but I could hurt you. Yo, this is so much. See, this is my fear, because my grandmother has old dolls. I, I, would, I would never visit your grandmother. She Every night when I'm told to go lock the front door, I walk by them and I'm always like, I'm on your guys' side. Listen, you got to take them out. Let me know. <laughs> I'll make it happen. I'll open up the door late at night. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't get close to them. My name is Talkie Tina and I love you very much. Isn't she sweet, Daddy? <laughs> Christy? Christy? Run! Get out of there! Run! You're in trouble! In the garage? I've seen three or four horror movies where this doesn't end well, so just, you know, apologize and make your peace. Uh, you, you, you are brave, sir. You're brave. It's affecting him. Oh, obviously. And he apparently doesn't care about the, what the, uh, the girl his wife thinks. Mm-hmm. Where's Tina, Daddy? I wouldn't know. Tina must be somewhere about Christy. Let's see if we can find her. Oh, this guy's too much. I'm coming for you. Just pops out of the phone. Hello? <laughs> Hello? My name is Talkie Tina, and I'm going to kill you. Oh my god. You called it. That's a little <laughs> bit of a jump. <laughs> you called it. I mean, the doll's been giving chances, you know? It's been no, saying... She's been, she's been patient with him. Yeah. Who is this? Annabelle? Hello? Hello? 
it's amazing that it's also like the name Annabelle is involved in this. Yes. You know, yeah. that, that that's happening. I wonder when they made Annabelle if that was an an homage to this. Maybe? Because the original thing is Raggedy Ann. Yeah, it's Raggedy Ann. But it's named Annabelle. Was it named Annabelle yeah. fully? Oh. Freaking out now, aren't we? Oh, no. Yep. That's when you panic. She has gone rogue. She's in the other one. <laughs> Completely just confused himself. I haven't seen the doll. I haven't even seen it since dinner. I swear it. You're telling the truth? You didn't take it? I didn't take it. Yeah, good. The realization that you messed up. <laughs> if it wasn't you, it had to be Christy. Eric. Dude, he should drop it at this point. <laughs> That's where you run. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, sir. Get that pit in your stomach. <laughs> mm -hmm. You made an irreversible mistake. <laughs> Dude, they all those dolls are gonna jump on them. I oh. told you you'd be sorry. Daddy? Go back to sleep. I want my Tina. Well, I'm going to borrow Tina for a while. Tina belongs to me. Then he just pushed her back in. Daddy, Daddy, please. I'm not your daddy. Damn. Oh, is that one of those clams? Table clams? Yeah, it is. But the sad thing is that he's also getting pleasure in this. You'll die. <laughs> oh, boy. Really? He can't cut it. Dude, you messed up. You might lose your finger here. That's what? a whole $40 saw blade out the door, by the way. That's a trip to Home Depot. Not even a mark. It's not going to be enough. She's Also, only in the 40s slash 50s could you have that tools and still be able to afford a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guy must have a good job. Oh, she's leaving. She's had enough of him. What are you good, doing? Good for what you. What do you think I'm doing? But why? How could I live with you after what you've done? The door moved. The door moved. Did it? I'll give it back. I'll give it's it back. Too late to now. Would that solve things? No. You attempted murder on a doll that wants you dead. I mean, at least he does care about her in no, his own sick way. He, now, now that he realized she was leaving, is when he caved in. Mm. He did everything that comes his way. He's, he told the girl, "I'm not your daddy." It's not there. I mean, if you were having a talking doll threaten you and whatnot, don't you think you would slowly kind of lose it? To be honest, first of all, there wouldn't be a doll in my house. That would never happen. There was no dolls in my house. What about I've seen way too many movies. What about the Funko Pops? That's not a doll. That, see, that talks I to me like, okay. Tina, and I don't forgive you. Oh. <laughs> he, he's already broken. Like, he's past his breaking point. Yeah, he's ended his threshold. I wonder if Tina's gonna kill him, or it's just the threat and him losing his mind. What if he really is losing his mind just from stress? Remember, this is the fifties. Seeing a shrink isn't right. The toilet, the toilet zone. Mm -hmm. Christie's dead. <laughs> He was right all along. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Big twist. <laughs> no, stay there. I mean, at least he's doing the manly thing of, you know, going first. Well, yeah. I mean, you're supposed to. Yeah. That, that's, it's, it's, it's in the Bible. Oh, she's loose. She is loose. You're about to get shot. 
possible like a 44 <laughs> yes, bigger than its own hand? <laughs> That's how she kills him? I guess so. Wow. So subtle. Talky Tina, and you better be nice to me. Yo. <laughs> A doll can become many things. Friend, defender, guardian. Especially a doll like Talky Tina, who did talk and did commit murder in the misty region of the Twilight Zone. Wow! I thought I thought it was gonna, the twist was going to be that the child was actually committing the murder, and it was like, <laughs> boy, that was that was great. I wonder if this is the the genesis of spooky dolls like if it started with this in, in, in movies and shows on the talking doll the evil doll well there has been prior dolls to like even before this year but i'm, but I'm talking about in 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 pop culture and in, oh, in, in movies this and, probably and, is definitely you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. i'm sure they're like haunted dolls back in the day maybe 18 1700 maybe back then even yeah but in terms of media, mm -hmm. you know, if this is like the beginning of how the reason why we have Chucky, why we have Annabelle, why we have Megan, Megan now. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a rip off from Chucky, though. Like the original screenplay. I'm not I can go in. Let me not. No, no, It'll episode. be a whole no, hour. Another episode. Another yeah. No, the episode. Um, so, what do you think about your first uh, Twilight Zone episode? Loved it, firstly. It was <laughs> right? great. Um, definitely can see why a lot of my older family members enjoyed the show. <laughs> it sucks you in. Yeah. And there's no way it sucks you in. Uh, and I, the, I think the best thing about the Twilight Zone is that the acting is so good. Like, the father here, which I need to look up. The father here was so hateful. And he played the role to the point where he got me hating him. Yes. Like, his acting got that emotion out of me. Like, he yeah. was really good in that role. He did a great job at it, you know? And and I, I love that. And you felt the mom's... You you felt her conflict. Yeah. Between the husband and the daughter. Yeah. You know? that, And she even told him, we'll do anything for you. You know? What, is it, what do we have to do for you to accept? You just open your heart a little bit. He, just, he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. He couldn't open his heart to the little girl. Only towards the end, where he, when she was about to leave, mm -hmm. he made that realization that okay, I messed up. Maybe I make, I'll make that change. A little too late. But what she emoted and what he emoted in, in that sense that where you can feel that feeling, I just thought it was fantastic. Yeah, you know. And boy, was that creepy. Let me, let me. So what do you think about the acting? I thought it was great too. Like. Um, the, even the little girl, I really saw, like, yeah. she, the way she cried and expressed her emotions, it brought out, like, the father slash big brother type of feeling where you want to protect at that exact moment. So. I, I, uh, Telly Savalas, that's who that is. I know I've seen him before. This guy has been in a lot of good stuff. Oh, he's just, oh, he, I didn't know he was a soldier. He was a, a corporal in World War II. Oh, wow. Purple Heart. American Defense uh, Service Medal, American Campaign Medal, European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, World War II Victory Medal. Wow. This man is decorated. Yeah. He is decorated. Wow. Uh, uh, re this was pretty awesome. I, I gotta... I wanna see... Uh, oops. I, know I, did. I, I wonder if he took any of his experiences as a soldier, you know, seeing like, kind of like the shell shock mate, his like, people that were shell shocked and started displaying kind of uh, like schizophrenic. Uh, oh, he's Kojak. I don't know who that is. It was a big TV show back in the seventies. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. He's yeah, Kojak, good. Kelly's Heroes, The Dirty Dozen. I'm dying to see Dirty Dozen. I don't think I've seen Dirty Dozen. Uh, he's a okay. So this guy's really a big. He, he's a star. Oh, okay. We're looking at star power. No wonder. Wow. I like this guy. Looks so familiar to me. Like I feel like I've seen him before. Okay. He's your father. Good. <laughs> Guys, we had no idea. Now we know. Yeah. Tennis of Alice. Big okay, you no, know that's a good one. We started we started the year off with a good bang here. Yeah, you know? yeah, wow, yeah. he was fantastic. I didn't know he was let alone that he was so decorated. 
Yeah, yeah. And you I'm know? just wondering, like, like him seeing kind of like the horrors of war and being able to see his how his uh, fellow soldier might have gone into a deeper insanity if he attributed that to this kind of uh, acting job here. Because he did show displays like his insanity starting to creep up on him with the talking doll, the sweat, the uh, kind of uh, breaking out into random fits of rage so and whatnot. So channeling that in. Yeah. And that, yeah, that could be. I'm wondering also if he took acting as a way to combat maybe PTSD. Maybe, you yeah. You know, something like that. Well, yeah. okay, that was excellent. You know what? Now I'm curious to see more Terry Savalas movies. Guys, if you know any good Terry Savalas movies, other than what I just saw the Dirty Dozen, that we should get into, let us know. Anyway, guys, listen, that was episode five, season... No, sorry, not about season that. five, season episode Season five, six. episode six, The Living Doll, Twilight Zone. Excellent episode for what... I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember which one of you guys uh, uh, recommended this one, but thank you for this recommendation. Uh, again, we're not doing this as a giant series in terms of, uh, so every so often we'll sprinkle a couple of these in here mm-hmm. as, as, uh, as we see fit or when we can squeeze it in here. Uh, I'm very glad that we got this done. Yeah. That you were part That'd of it. Amazing. And hopefully we'll get to do quite a bit more. That'd be you great. Know, maybe we could do one or two a month. You know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Again, I promise if we you have this time. Well, yeah, we, yeah, if we have the time to put these in here, but I really did enjoy this. Uh, guys, if you like what we're doing, guys, you're going to see that we have a Patreon and you can look at it and see these episodes unedited part of the package for as little as one dollar a month uh if you like to see more of this let us know in the comment section please again if you enjoy our content hit the like button hit the subscribe button you know be part of the group we plan to have <clears throat> some really good stuff coming out this year yeah you know uh so you know we'll, 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 we'll let you in as we go on we're still in new year more the, us. yeah more, more us for sure <laughs> but we're still we're like towards the end of our planning phase like we have a lot of good ideas that we have coming yeah. up you know and uh we do appreciate this this month we'll be celebrating our very first year yeah. towards the end of the month so maybe we'll have a some one year special thing of us talking how I, it's been an experience so far whenever you guys yes we hope that you've had a very 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 lovely new year's you know i hope you guys had an amazing christmas and merry holidays and we're glad that you guys are still with us here in 2023 and we look forward to having you to having you with us and giving you a great 2023 with our channel so here are our nights guys thanks for hanging out with us we're i'm ray i'm julian guys we'll see you soon take care peace